Okay, this is Dr. Smith, and if everything is going correctly, which you should never assume, but if everything is going correctly, then this will be the uh, start of the solutions to uh, the to the error prop and vector operations review sheet that we had in class for you on Thursday and Friday. Um, if you don't have it, I put it up on Blackboard somewhere in uh, class materials, review, something like that. So, anyway, on to the problems. The first problem, uh, determine the thickness of one page of your textbook. Include the uncertainty. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I do have a book at home. What I don't have, as far as I can tell, is a metric ruler. Oh, the irony. So, what I have is a tape measure, so you're going to have to bear with me while I count or I measure a bunch of pages in the book using the tape measure. Now, the, the what you're supposed to do here, and I think you guys all figured this out, is measure a whole bunch of pages with some uncertainty and then divide by the number of pages. So, for me, I am measuring 1,000 pages. So everything from page 1 to 1,000 I am measuring. And the, uh, let's see, I'm going to call, uh, hmm, let's see, I'm going to call the um, the amount I measured, I'm going to call that uh, capital D. Okay, so capital D is um, 1 and 5 sixteenth inches. Yep. So that's uh, 21 sixteenths inches. And the uncertainty in that, I'm going to say I measured it to an uncertainty. This tape measure is marked in, 30, in uh, sixteenths of an inch, so I'm going to go with one half of that as my uncertainty there, plus or minus one thirty-second of an inch. Yeah. So um, I'm going to do all this, and I'll convert to metric and see what we have. So. Um, Obviously, what we have here now is that the total thickness of all those pages is going to equal the thickness of one page, and I'm going to call that little d, times the number of pages. Now, I said earlier that I mentioned I uh, measured a thousand pages, but um, w what is a page here? Um, what, what I mean in the problem, and I think this is the way people would interpret it when you say the thickness of one page, one page of a book is one piece of paper, but that actually has two pages, two different page numbers on it. So if I'm going by page numbers and measuring everything from one to a thousand, I'm really only measuring half that many pieces of paper. So really, my n value is 500. I'm measuring 500 pieces of paper. So um, anyway, let's go ahead and work this out. So we've got um, we've got some uncertainty in our uh, you know in our thousand page measurement or a five hundred page measurement. So I'm going to call that D squiggle plus some error in capital D. Okay. And that quantity there on, on the left, which is you know our measured value D here, that quantity is going to equal our predicted value for the thickness of one page plus whatever uncertainty there is in that times little n. Um, if we had you know, we, we know little n exactly. We're assuming we know little n exactly. We're assuming the pages are numbered correctly. Uh, major textbook publisher, you know, should be. Um, maybe, you know, if we had to count the pages, we might think, oh man, I might have missed one or two in the middle. So you might even, might say n was like 500 plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 2 or whatever, however much room for error you want to leave yourself. But um, I'm assuming you guys all just looked at page numbers. I don't see any reason why you'd want to just count it. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to switch to, oh, how about purple? Purple's a pretty color. Okay, so um, we are trying to solve for d squiggle and the error in little d. So little d squiggle and, little, and the error in little d. Um, so we just divide through by n, of course. So d squiggle plus whatever our uncertainty in little d is equals big D squiggle plus whatever error we have in big D over n. Couldn't be simpler, right? And so from that we can obviously sort of break this down and say that D squiggle, our predicted value, is going to be big D squiggle over n and the error in little d is going to be the error in big D divided by n. Okay, so um, let me take red now and go all the way up around here. I probably should have organized this better, but whatever. Um, so little d was 21 16, uh, oh sorry, little d squiggle is going to equal 
So our capital D squiggle is this here, this 21 sixteenths of an inch. Okay, so that's going to be 21 over 16. Mm, yeah, let's call that a 16. Hang on, let me erase that. That's an ugly 6. And right over 16. And um, that's going to be all over little n, which is 5. Wow. Let me see if I can... No, hold on. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to... There's no undo here. Oh, now that's just moving around. Arr! Oh, that's it. Okay, so I've hit this. There we go. Okay, so that's all over 500. Okay, so what this is going to come out to be is... Um, I'll just go ahead and write the whole thing in there. Little d squiggle is... Uh, so let's see, 16 times the 500 becomes 8,000, so it's 21 over 8,000 inches. Okay, and then the error in little d is going to be um, plus or minus one thirty second of an inch. So plus or minus one thirty second of an inch divided by this is a plus or minus sign. Yes, my handwriting is is horrible. Sorry. Um, divided by five hundred. Um, so let's see, thirty two five hundred. So it's going to be one sixteen thousandth of an inch. Okay, so sixteen thousand. One sixteen thousand, and that's actually off the, off the page. So, one over sixteen thousand of an inch. Okay. So, um, what remains now is just really just to, to figure this out. You know, and if you're really, unless you're interested in really sort of pedantic, uh, dull math, you can sort of skip this part. So let me see if I have some accessories here. Uh, I don't know. Accessories calculator. You having fun so far? Okay. So. Uh, let's take, uh, first I'm going to find out what D squiggle is. I'm going to take, oh crap, let's see. Oh god. 21 divided by 8,000 equals that many inches. And let's see, an inch is 25.4 millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply this by 25.4 millimeters. And I'm going to get, I think, uh, Oh, God. Stupid. All right. Uh, 0 0.0667 millimeters. So I'm going to say my D squiggle equals 0 0.0667 millimeters. And my error. Come on. Stupid piece of crap. No. Stop vanishing, you stupid little. All right. Why can't I draw? Okay. Maybe I'm hitting a button. Error in D is going to be uh, one sixteen thousandth of an inch. So let me try that. Let's see. Clear one divided by sixteen thousand equals that times twenty five point four equals. Okay, so uh, plus or minus. Oh, and I forgot to. Okay, point oh oh one five or oh oh one six. Okay, zero. 0 0.0016 millimeters. So what I get is, I'm just going to write over here, uh, D, little d, which is the thickness of one, one piece of paper, is 0 0.0667 plus or minus 0 0.0016. Was it 16 or 17? Oh, yeah, it should be 16. Okay, great. Right. Uh, 0 0.0016 millimeters. Now, hopefully, if you did this correctly, and if I did it correctly, don't, by the way, if your answer doesn't agree with mine, don't automatically assume you're wrong. Go back and figure out if you're wrong, and if you're not wrong, see if you can figure out what I did wrong. Um, but I make mistakes all the time, so don't assume I'm right. Um, but hopefully, if we've both done this correctly, we should have very similar values for the measured thickness, and then our uncertainty will be different um, I was measuring to an uncertainty of one thirty-second of an inch, uh, which is like less than a millimeter, but more than half a millimeter. So depending on whether you said a millimeter precision in your measurement, or if you thought you were a real badass and you had half a millimeter precision, you might have slightly greater or less error in yours. Anyway, uh, wow, way too much analysis for one problem. I'm moving on to problem two right now.